Our weed of the week is jointed goat grass. This is a very difficult to control weed, especially in wheat because it's so similar to wheat. So when we think about that, that's where our problem is going to be, fall control in winter wheat. We've got to start out with a good product that's an ALS family killer to try and stop this jointed goat grass, otherwise you're done. Yeah, but here's the whole thing, Darren. I mean, Osprey might be the best, and it's not that great. So that's where we start looking at, you know what, maybe we're going to have to go with Clearfield wheat and go with Beyond. And even that I don't view as, oh, it's this greatest thing ever lights out product. So that's where we're stuck on jointed goat grass. It's a really difficult one. I view that as even worse than downy brome. Well, jointed goat grass is certainly a difficult problem, but it's not a problem when we get into broadleaf crops. We've got lots of different options there. We're seeing farmers, even in traditional continuous cereal production areas, throwing a broadleaf crop out there, maybe Maybe it's peas, maybe it's some sort of bean. I don't know what it's going to be in your area, but just having that rotation in there once every three years even is enough where you can really hit some of these weeds really hard and wipe them out for good. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.